Welcome to this Q&A of the day video in association with TLC Electrical Wholesaler, renowned for quality, value and customer service. Today's question relates to the Philips Coreline Tempo LED floodlights that featured in one of our recent live feed videos. The question is, what's the difference between symmetrical and asymmetrical fittings and what benefit do asymmetrical fittings have? Well, to illustrate the answer to this, we're going to use my favorite lighting design software, which is Dialux. And in this first project, I've just popped in a couple of light fittings. Now, these are both variants on the type of fitting that Gordon was discussing in his video with Gary. And here you can see we've got a symmetrical version of the fitting. Now, if I turn on the representation of the light spread here, you can see that the light comes off the fitting in an evenly spread way. The spread is symmetrical when you look at it from above and from the side. The second fitting is asymmetrical. And if I turn on the representation of the light spread, you can see that it is no longer symmetrical. The light is being thrown out more at the front of the fitting than at the back. So that's the first part of the question answered. We can clearly see how the light source is behaving in different ways for the different types of fitting. Now, the thing that makes it behave this way is the little optical lenses that cover the individual LEDs in the fitting, making it much more flexible and effective as a light source than just having a whole mass of LEDs in the middle of the fitting. So what are the benefits of this type of light source? Well, I've done a very rough lighting design here for a football pitch. Uh, I've modeled it on the pitch that I play on quite regularly. Now, first of all, if I use the symmetrical fittings that I've got here, because the fittings are spreading light evenly all around them below, as much light is falling off the pitch as is falling onto the pitch. And even if I angle them upwards, there's still a lot of light falling off the pitch and being wasted. Now, referring to the SLL lighting handbook, we're going to view this as a class three pitch. So I need 75 lux of lighting and a uniformity of 0.5. Now we're not going to worry too much about glare etc at this point, but you can see we're only getting a uniformity of 0.079. However, if we go now to using the asymmetrical fittings, these throw light further forward, meaning that there is more light in the center of the pitch. And if we look at our calculation results, we can see that we're achieving the required lighting and uniformity levels, making this a pleasant and safe pitch to play on. So there we go. Asymmetrical fittings spread light out more in certain directions to help us achieve results such as we've seen on our design. All that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.